over here in uh, Loudoun, Ohio, ready for fire punk tuning tomorrow morning. It was a nice drive, not too bad, about six and a half hours. Sorry for the noise, there's a, something going on over there, I don't know. But we'll wake up early in the morning, check the truck over, check all the fluids, and make sure everything's up to par. But should have a good day tomorrow. Almost there. A couple more minutes, we're at Fire Punk. We made it, Fire Punk. Time to get this thing tuned. Guys, we survived the dyno. 554,700. About to head home. Had a, I don't know, 500 mile trip. So we'll see what kind of fuel mileage we get. We got about 15 on the way up. About 75 miles an hour the whole way. So old girl did pretty good. Made. 6:30 on the dyno and there's still one tune above that i just didn't want to go there only because the clutch um, the clutch is fine it held 6 30 like nothing but i've got a six and a half hour trip home so i don't want to break it and not get home so i will test that tune when we're closer to home or put a better clutch in it that i know will hold it so 
but yeah guys uh i hope you guys enjoyed the dyno videos and i'll update you with some fuel mileage and egt when i start towing again with it so back in tennessee at the hidgelica mountain anybody knows this mountain you know how steep and long it is and we're getting cut off Seventy three all the way up, topping it right at nine hundred degrees before it'd be like eleven 1 hundred easily, even just empty. So that's a big improvement already. We'll see what it is when we get a trailer behind her though. For those of you that don't know the story of this truck, this is how we found it in a farm under a barn covered in pigeon crap and dirty as all heck. So we got it home, got her washed up. Got the inside cleaned out, got the bed cleaned out, and uh, started taking it apart and rebuilding it. Started off by taking the bed apart, or off, and repainted the frame. Got it looking right. It's the engine bay, it looked like. Got an MB5600 to replace the automatic. Started taking the engine out. Here's the engine on the ground. It was covered in oil. This is after I pressure washed it. It was still filthy. Got every bracket and stuff switched over to the new motor. Started working on the interior while I was waiting on injectors and CP3. This is the motor, how it was dressed out with all the brackets and fuel rails. Got it sat in. Got the mo engine bay put back together. My custom pack brake and fast install. And it started looking like a truck again. Here's the gauges installed. First start up. It went smooth. Started over first try. Uh, but after this, I started having injector. And I actually had a clutch problem as well. It turned out to be the slave cylinder. After we got all that figured out, got the fuel tank installed in the bed and threw on these compounds from Pusher. It's a 75 millimeter top turbo on top of a 64 millimeter calibrated power turbo. Here's the engine bay look like with the compounds. I actually took the socked air filter off and put in the air box. First tow with compounds. It worked pretty well, but the reason for this video is to get the NGTs down. Thank you guys for watching.